Hello and welcome to the episode. Today I'll show you how to replace the fork seals on a Honda NC750X. This covers years 2013 to 2016. Newer models are very similar but oil volumes may vary, so please check first. First thing you should do is loosen the 17mm top caps as shown. Don't unscrew them all the way, just loosen them half a turn. Now with a 5mm allen key, remove the mudguard as shown. Use an 8mm socket to remove the brake hose clamp and do the same on the opposite side. Now carefully lift the mudguard off. Using a 12mm socket remove the brake caliper. Rotate the disc so it lines up with the cutout to help the caliper slide out. Now tie the brake caliper out of the way. Remove the spindle pinch bolt with a 12mm socket. Place all your bolts in one pot so you don't lose them. Using a 17mm hex socket loosen the wheel spindle. Now use a block of wood and a trolley jack and ease the pressure from the front by placing under the sump. You won't need to put much pressure here, providing your bike is on the main stand. Remove the spindle bolt. And remove both spaces and keep them safe. Using a 14mm socket, loosen the lower shock pinch bolts. Now loosen the top pinch bolt. Carefully slide out the shock. Do the same on the opposite side. Using a 6mm allen key on the bottom of the shock, jolt with a quick action. Just loosen half a turn for now. While applying downward pressure, remove the upper cap gently. Tip out the old oil. Remove all the inner parts as shown. Make sure you do this on a clean surface. Now clean all the parts thoroughly. Gently remove the dust seal with a flat screwdriver. Now remove the inner oil seal retainer. Unscrew the lower allen key bolt completely. Now separate the shock as shown.
Remove the inner spacer. Now remove the old seal. Clean the bushes and use some auto sole on the shock tube. Do not use anything abrasive. Check the shock tube for any cracks or damage. Now give it a clean. Insert the spacer as shown. I use some waste pipe and an exhaust clamp to install my bush and seals. This works fine and will save you money on buying a special tool. Slide the waste pipe over the shock and clamp it in place. Now tap downwards and jolt the bush in place. You'll hear a change in sound when it is seated. Using a cut up milk carton, smear it with grease. Fold it round the end of the shock tube, making a cone shape. Now gently slide the seal on. Check the seal orientation before installing. Slide all the way to the bottom. Now use the old seal and place that on top. We will use this to drive the new seal in place. Using the homemade tool, knock the seal in place as shown. Again, you will hear a change in sound when it is seated correctly. Reinstall the seal retainer. Be careful not to touch the rubber seal with the screwdriver. Now install the dust cover and push in place. Insert the fork piston as shown. Clean the old screw and tighten to 20 Nm. Use the old spring to stop the piston from turning inside. Fill shock with 10 watt oil, leaving a 101 mm air gap. I used 500 mm in each shock and this was spot on. Work the shock up and down to remove bubbles and recheck air gap. The air gap should be measured when the tube is fully extended. Here are the illustrations. Now slide the spring, spring seat and collar in as shown. Now install the top cap pushing downwards at the same time. Tighten so it's flush. Install the shock making sure the top cap is sticking out as shown. Do the same for the other side. Tighten the lower pinch bolts to 39Nm. Now tighten both top caps to 22Nm. 
Now tighten the upper pinch bolts to 22 Nm. Grease the wheel spindle, install the wheel and the pinch bolt. Tighten the axle to 74 Nm. Then tighten the pinch bolt to 22 Nm. Now carefully install the mud guard. Install the caliper and tighten bolts to 30 Nm. Gently remove the trolley jack and pump the front brake so the pads settle. Check the suspension operates correctly and there are no leaks. Now clean the brake disc and wipe all the areas where you've worked. Here are the tools that I used. Well that's the end of the video, hope this has been useful, please subscribe for more videos like this, I upload two videos a week consisting of reviews, how to's and vlogs, until then I've been Nick and I'll catch you on the next episode, ride safe.